Today I received my LiPo cutoff switch in the post and that's from Leximode on eBay and priced at £2.49 plus 86 pence postage. So for very little money you can save a lot in the long run in damaged light poles. Now all this does, it's got one S, yep, one to eight capability for your light pole and basically all you do is just plug it onto your charge port on your light pole and set the voltage and that'll bleep like heck when your battery is getting low so you have time to get it out and change it before you end up with a knackered battery now I'm running LiPo's at the minute in a couple of cars so this one I only charged yesterday so I'll show you a couple of examples as I have a LiPo here which has dropped below voltage and a perfect LiPo here which is working fine uh, so I'll give you an example of what's what and we'll go through step by step how to work this little module they're not cheap batteries and they are dangerous and I'll go into a little bit about that later on so first of all let's take a look at this LiPo voltage cutoff switch small so it can fit anywhere really in your RC and it's compact and it's very light I don't know the exact weight but you know it's so many grams now we have a little switch on the back just here and that lets you set to whatever voltage you want so I'll go ahead and I'll show you that in a moment so the pins now from holding it up you have your 2S plug, or 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, on and on. Now you can set this to a safe voltage cut off to preserve your batteries, your LiPo's, because we know these are very expensive and this cost me all in all about £3.69. pence. So for the sake of a couple of quid, to the price of like £30 what are you going to do? Are you are going to spend 3 or £4 to preserve your battery or just keep blowing LiPo's and spend 40 50 60 70 80 so anyway let's go ahead now and show you how this works this LiPo pack here actually is a dead one I received it in a car I got and it had been left below voltage so it's just great for a good example to show you guys what's the what with this. So voltage alarm buzzer. And you've got your balancing plug. So take your balancing plug with this being a 2S and you just work from the beginning. There. Now. So you can hear it's bleeping its nut off, basically that's below voltage and it also does the same when you get below your voltage or to your voltage cut off where you want. I like to set mine not at 3.8, it goes up to 3.8 but I like to set mine at about 3.4 just to be safe, I'd rather be safe than sorry and that gives me an all good round cut off but I also have an ESC with a cut off as well but so let's plug this back in I'm sorry about the bleeping right. let's see that so number one cell is 3.2 and number two is 1.4 so number two cell is down which has resulted in failure of this LiPo battery. Now, a LiPo battery 
which is charged and working. Fine. Take the balance plug again of this one. And all at 8.2 volts because that's fully charged. There's no bleeping, so it's not at its limit. So number one cell 4.1, number two 4.09. So they're there about the same. Now you've got a little switch on the back where you can manually adjust your voltage. As you can see, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8. You can turn it off or 2.7 which is the minimum now you really are dancing with life or death if you have it at 2.7 so I'll put mine back up to where I feel comfortable that's 3.4 and the sound you heard on the dead battery is what it'll do when my battery gets low so it's a very 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 cheap investment and I would recommend one to anyone who's running lipos if you haven't got an ESC safety cut off then one of them are ideal so you can get them on eBay small investment £3 or £30 you decide now charging of lipos a lipo bag for charging in never leave them fully charged I always leave mine half charged and not only do I have just the normal charger but there's balance chargers out there on the market which let you monitor each cell which gives your LiPo a good life and you're able to discharge as well so if you've not used your batteries and you might not be using them again for I don't know it could be four weeks or whatever period of time then you can discharge them to a point where it's safe because they're only going to discharge if you run them down to your discharge point and then leave them they lose their life anyway as the wall batteries and again you're going to end up with a dud battery now my batteries I charge in a bag safety reasons there's a video on YouTube on Hemi Storm's channel where he goes to his friends who had an accident he left his lipo for a few minutes and come back to find his workshop burnt down and there's a video of that on YouTube somewhere and it's quite shocking now I've got two precious little sperms that sleep in the room upstairs and God forbid if anything happened the worst case scenario all through charging a lipo pack <coughs> is it really worth it? so I have my lipo bag but I run this on an extension into the backyard and I have a metal bucket and a bag of sand to put it in while charging just in case now you might think it's a little over the top but like I say I've got two precious sperms in this house and I wouldn't want the worst case scenario uh, there's plenty more information up on YouTube regarding balancing and discharge and everything else but I just merely wanted to show you this neat little module and just go over some safety guidelines on charging now I can do a video on balancing etc if you think that will be helpful for you but for now that will be all so take care keep safe when charging lipos do use lipos safely and happy RCing guys and I'll see you in the next video